Hey friends, we are in finishing mode today. Today is December 31st. <laughs> today is December 31st, not 31st. Jeepers. Today is my birthday. Oh, and the year is 2019. This cross stitch, Be Kind, is going to be released January 2020. So I'm working on the finishing and I wanted to record myself doing it. So if you like the finish, you can do it as well. Again, I'm going to preface this video with, I am not a professional finisher. I am a professional artist. I'm not even a professional stitcher. <laughs> I do punch needle and I do artwork like paintings. Um, I am very blessed to be working with some of the finest stitchers and they do my cross stitch charts or my models for me. So thank you Jesus for them. So I went ahead and cut all my sticky board, uh, press on, I guess that's the brand name. It says registered trademark. So press on is the kind I use. I went ahead and cut my, my sticky board. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. I got to go grab the measurements. It was stitched on Weeks Dye Works 35 count corn silk. So if you stitch on that same count and it's two over two, if you stitch on that same count, you will end up with the same dimensions. Therefore it will turn out like mine. If you use 32 count, obviously it's going to be bigger. So these dimensions won't mean anything to you. You'll just have to measure your own. Okay. So my first board, I cut five and a quarter by five and a quarter. The second board, which is this one, I cut five and five eighths by five and five eighths. And I put the fabric on a diagonal just because I thought trying to get that on straight might be near impossible. So I put it on the diagonal. And then my last piece, five, or six and five eighths by six and five eighths. So that'll allow me a nice half an inch border all the way around. What I use to cut my sticky board and I find to be the most accurate way when I did my ornaments, my punch needle ornaments, I used scissors because I couldn't find my, my knife. And for the ornaments, it wasn't that big a deal using scissors because it's an ornament. It's not square. Like I'm putting a square upon a, a, on top of a square upon a top of a square. And then my finish, my piece I'm going to put it on is square. So I want it to be nice and square. So everything lines up good. And using these quilter rulers uh, are the best way and using a knife. That's the best way to get a nice square cut. Okay. So when you use sticky board and you get your piece cut, I have a hard time trying to get the, the, the part that peels off. I have a hard time getting that off. And sometimes I end up peeling part of the board and stuff. So I just took my knife and the knife that I used to cut it with and I just stick it in there and uh, it helps so that you can do that without tearing the edge. And anyway, that's my little tip for you. Okay, let's hope I don't burn myself with this blasted glue gun. Seems to be my MO these days. Let's just put a little bit of hot glue here. And you don't want to like put a big glob of it. You just want to squeeze a little bit out and then kind of mash it around so that it's kind of flat because we don't want a lot of bulk built up on the back of these. I really wish that it was sticky on both sides. Wouldn't that be awesome? Do you think they'll ever come out with sticky board that's sticky on both sides? Because then you could peel that off and just fold these over. Maybe they make it. I don't. I've never seen it, but it doesn't mean it's not in existence. Okay, so I just do my four corners and then I run, run a bead of glue along the edge and fold it over, making it as tight and as taut as I can.
Now we just have to be super careful and make sure we center this. So you're probably going to be looking at the top of my head for a minute. Because I have to make sure I center this perfectly. Or as perfectly as possible. And just press it on. And then flip it over and do the same thing on this one. You don't want to get too close to the edge because you really don't want that to squeeze out and show. I really despise when the glue shows. harder and harder okay same thing make sure that it lines up as perfectly as possible <laughs> that looks pretty darn good and again not necessarily looking for perfection but trying our hardest to get perfection. And there you have it. Look how cute that looks. This almost looks, makes it look like, um, I don't know, like some sort of trim, like a rope. It almost looks like a rope is going around it. I actually have <laughs> Lady Doc, or not, no, I'm sorry, my bad. I actually have Dames of the Needle uh, trim, but I don't think I need it. I really don't think I need it. I can always add it later if I decide to, because what I'm using is this cool piece here. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I can read you the number. It's item number 1554484. It says photo frames, so it's in the frame department. It says $24.99, but I know I go when they're half off every other week. Frames and wall decor are half off, so I paid, you know, $12.50 for it. So anyway, Hobby Lobby, again, that item number is 1554484. So hopefully they still have it. But isn't it cool? I love it. Zoom out just a scope so you can see the whole thing. Then I have this. This I bought at Walmart during Christmas, so they probably don't have these anymore. But, you know, you could take some burlap. It's got a wire in it. So you could take some burlap, um, it's probably an inch wide ribbon and make your own bow. And then this is just a little pine cone there, which I may even take that off if I, if I can, I'm going to leave it for now, but if I can find a little bee or, or even a little flower, like a yellow flower would be cute. Matter of fact, I definitely want to take that pine cone off. <laughs> I just don't want to do it until I have something to replace it with. Even a covered button would be really cute using maybe that small check. That'd be adorable. So my plan was to just have this clipped in here and centered and then use this bow. The bow has a tie on it, so I can either glue it on there or tie it on there. And then I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna cut these. Let's just see how this is gonna lay. If I stick that in there like that, and then just cut these short so that they don't cover too much of the 
piece. You know, it might even behoove me to take this thing right off so that I can center that on the heart. Hee hee hee. Let's see if I can do it. You know, if you had a if you had a more rectangular piece, that would work, but I think it hangs down too low. So let me just see how I can take that off. Oh, there's a screw in it. Okay. Well, maybe I can salvage it and actually reuse that. Let me go get a screwdriver. My favorite little, one of my favorite little tools is this little hammer. It's great for crafting. You're not going to build a house with it. But I guess I didn't need to take that part off. You're not going to build a house with this cool hammer, but it's great to have in your craft room. That's what I need. And see, this comes off. And then, I think that's all. Yeah. So there's two flathead, and then there's only one. I don't know. Phillips? I don't know my much about screwdrivers. Isn't Phillips... Isn't that a Phillips head? You can't see it. Okay. Well, look at there. Easy as pie. And then I can use this... Um, clip. I'm going to keep the screw because I might even, you know, I might want to screw it into something else. So I'm going to put that in a little Ziploc bag, have that for future. Nate might need it eventually for something else. Okay. I think that's going to work out way better. Let's cut our, our bow here. So I'm going to have it, I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to cut it like that so it's got that cute little end on it. It can even kind of, you can maneuver it around a little bit. I really got to take this pine cone off because it's not conducive with our cute little bee theme here. All right, and I cut some of that twist tie off as well, which I probably don't even need now because I think I don't even need it. Cut it a little shorter, bend it over, because I'm going to end up gluing that on. Okay, back to this. Now, and I think that's better because now you can kind of see that there's a heart under there. So if I glue that there, Glue that at the top, and I can puff this. I can make these. Because there's wire in it, I can make it a little more fluffy if I want to. Oh, Priscilla, what have you done to me? <laughs> I know you all know who I'm talking about. Priscilla and Chelsea, the Real Housewife, Housewives of Cross Stitch. And Priscilla does amazing finishes. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on. Right there. And then I'm going to have to find something from the center, which I think I'm going to do a covered button. But I have no idea how to make a covered button. So let's first of all get this, this part glued on. So let's see, that lines up with that, right there, and then this goes here, I think that'll work. Oh, it makes me nervous. Yeah, because this is at the point where you really don't want to screw things up. It's good to eyeball it and you know, know what you're going to do exactly. used a whole glue stick just on this project okay so that lined up with that I think it was about right there was where I liked it dang that sucker sticks fast okay 
press down, especially on the edges. So pressing down on the entire piece. might be kind of cool to paint the edges of this wood black. Stay tuned. I may do that. So that's going to go there. I'm not going to glue it on yet just because I want to see about doing a uh, a covered button. Nice. So I'm super, super excited because I was kind of in a panic mode because I'm like, okay, I don't even have buttons down here. And even if I had a button down here, I don't know how to do a covered button, blah, blah, yada, yada. And then I remembered I bought these adorable little bees from an Etsy shop. Oh, God, I'll have, matter of fact, matter of fact, I might start carrying these in my Etsy shop. She said that I could purchase them wholesale. She does all kinds of cool beeswax things. It's not focusing. Um... There we go. See my wrinkly hands too. So she has these beeswax bees and then she has, you know, Santas and sheep and angels and all kinds of beautiful things. So I'm going to use that instead. Instead of a covered button. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, and this is wax, so that hot glue, the wax is probably melting into the hot glue, and it's just going to be perfect. OMG, look how cute, guys. Look how cute. Can you see how cute? Sorry for the sniffles. Still sniffling. It's been three weeks now. Okay, so... I don't know, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of glue on, I guess. God, this makes me nervous. You know what? I'm going to turn it upside down so it's closer to me and it'll be easier for me to, to see, I think. Yeah, I don't want the bow to cover too much of the piece. I don't mind if it comes up over top too much. So we're just going to put a bunch of glue right there and then we're gonna put it right here and I'm just gonna hold that until that glue cools and has a nice grip hopefully when I do the video and show all the finishes everything stays put and doesn't fall off there's a piece of wire hanging out from this bow I know I shouldn't use my scissors for cutting wire, but oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So there you have it. It's so cute. I do, I don't know, I don't know. I was going to say, I do think I'm going to paint the edges black around the side, but if I come up over the top with that black, I don't think that will look good because this piece of metal, if you can see it, See how it's wood and then they put the metal on it and then they put these little, I don't know if they're screws or tacks or something. They might even be just glued on. But I don't want the black paint to come over the top and mess with this part. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I think it's super cute. If you wanted, when you got yours, you could make the heart black. And that would make the heart stand out a little bit more. But then again, you know, the black around the bee, I think that black fabric, you know, makes it pop. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I love this piece. I love this stitch piece so much. This would be really cute as a little pillow as well. That That is, I'm going to leave that up to Vanna and the professional finishers and I'm going to stick with this kind of finishing. So thank you guys for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it gave you an idea. You know, and if you don't, if you can't find this piece, you can get a piece of wood 
that size or there's all kinds of other things that you can use to attach this to. It was more about showing you how I do the fabric on the sticky board and just this cute little bow which you know you could make yourself if you can't find that because like I said that was at Christmas at Walmart so I doubt they still have them. Anyways thanks for watching and happy stitching!